everyone welcome to my channel programming by bhargavi so in this session we are going to discuss about the important questions of data engineering with python so these questions are based on the syllabus of the telangana university and the data science of third sem uh, at the last of this question we also discuss about the previous prior question paper how the question paper is formed and how the questions are framing from different different chapters so let me go one by one unit so in the first unit we consider uh, we have seen some different questions which are related to the data engineering concepts the first one is define data set write about the data analysis and the second question is write about report structure write about creating and reading of text files with examples write about pickling and unpicking methods with examples write operating system module methods and write about json and xml Next in the second unit, write about processing of HTML files. And next question, processing of NLP, processing of text procedures, normalization, regular expressions and methods, regular expressions with the globe module. So whatever the questions you cover here, so you have to define, that means you have to write definition, some of the key points of each topic and the advantages and the disadvantages and the features. So e, all these points you must and should consider for each and every topic. So what is mean by here? first HTML you have to write. Then after how to create a HTML file, how to execute this file, what are the advantages we have, what are the disadvantages we have, what are the key points are there. So every topic you have to cover in this manner. So whenever you are preparing for a particular topic, so first we need to prepare what is mean by that what advantages we have, what disadvantages we have, what are the key points are there for that, what are the features are there for that. So you have to consider these five considerations for each and every topic. So prepare in this method, you will get good score. Next, the third unit, write about MySQL database and how to set MySQL database. Sorry, database. Write about MySQL queries in Python. That means how you are going to connect your MySQL database in Python and how you implement MySQL queries in Python. That means how the syntax will work in a Python. You have to write. So these are from one chapter. So all these are from the, all these questions are from second chapter. So surely one long answer from come from this one long answer come from this so if you have to attempt that means if you want to have a good score that means first prepare one chapter at least from one unit that means every unit have two chapters or three chapters prepare at least one chapter from each and every unit and in that chapter, you are not supposed to leave out at least a single topic mm. also. Prepare each and every topic. So in our third unit, we have two chapters. So this is one chapter. This is one chapter. So this one chapter syllabus is very less compared to this one. So in this, if you prepare to these two questions, you can easily score the good marks. Okay. So better to read this MySQL and MySQL queries in Python completely. And in this numpy arrays, so first you need to have idea about what is mean by numpy and how to create a numpy array and its attributes. So if you prepare these three, you will get one question compulsory. So these three questions can be asked in the question like explain numpy array with its function and examples under. That means what you have to write how, what is mean by numpy, how to define an array with numpy, and what are the attributes of this array function and you have to explain a program. So all these three questions become say single question in your exam, right? Next, write about arithmetical and mathematical functions in NumPy. Next, write a short note on splitting. That means how you are going to divide array. Write about broadcasting in arrays <coughs> with example. Explain reshaping of NumPy array, that means one dimension to another dimension, how you are going to convert the array. Explain timing of MongoDB and its features. So this NumPy array mostly in our syllabus, we are implementing in MongoDB. So you have to explain the MongoDB, what is mean by MongoDB 
and what the features it have, what advantages, what disadvantages, what the key points are there, you have to explain for this MongoDB. <coughs> Sorry. For the last unit, fourth unit, write about Pandas data structures with example. That means in this, in this question, you have to write what is mean by Pandas, what many types of Pandas are there. So each data frames and series, how you define a data frame, how you define a series, and how you are going to print a data series, how you are, sorry, sorry, data frame, how you are going to print a series. So you have to explain all this with the help of the examples. Next second question is, write about reshaping of data in Pandas. How you are going to reshape the data? Next question, handling of missing data in Python. That means if null values are in your data set, how you are going to handle that null values? We have different kinds of steps in that. Uh, seven to eight steps are there. You have to follow that. Write about pivot in data frames. Write about joining and merging of the data frames. That means if two data frames are defined, how you are going to combine that? How you are going to merge? We have different, different functionalities in this. So each and every functionality, you have to explain with a simple program and the output also if you write, so that you'll understand, uh, the examiner will understand that, okay, this is an example for syntax and this is example and this is the output. So the student understands the concept very well. He thought like that. So each and everything, you write a program, you write a output, you explain the function like merge function, concat function like this, right? Write about how to transform the data in pandas. Next, mapping of the data frames. And next and last, different plottings using matplotlib library in that pyplot submodule. Write about plotting with pandas. Write about mastering established. That means advances, advanced implements in the plottings is called as mastering establishments. So all these are related to your four units imported questions. So prepare well. And this is a previous year exam paper. So first, see here. Write a short note on data acquisition pipeline. Right? Next, we'll discuss pickle module. So which we covered in our imported question. Define regular expression. Also, we have converted. Write special characters in regular expressions. What is MongoDB, broadcasting array, reshaping array, plotting types? So all these important questions which are covered in our imported questions. Next, what are files? Write the types of files. Explain different file methods to read and write the data. This question also covered. Explain with example how to work with the text data using JSON Python, JSON XML we discussed. How to process HTML files in Python. Write what are the named groups in Python regular expressions, how to use MySQL database. Now I told you now. So each unit, so these first unit, these two, second unit, these two, third unit, these two, fourth unit. So if you prepare at least one chapter, you will get the you see here. Describe basic arithmetical mathematical functions on numpy sorry. So numpy one answer num, num, from numpy one question from MS SQL. MySQL, one question. So if you prepare MySQL, so it will be very easy. Next, describe timing pandas files and explain plotting with pandas. So each and every unit have two questions. If you prepare at least half unit also, you will get good score. Clear? So all these questions are very most important. One question we missed in the important questions that is pipelining concept. So this is also important concept. Just add this pipeline to the first unit. Okay, this is related to the data engineering with Python imported questions for the data science students. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.